Donnie Houston. Subscribe to Donnie Houston Podcast, man. Yeah, man, it's going down. It's Donnie's podcast. I am Donnie Houston. Check it out, man. Uh, we got a special guest. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Northside legend, Swisher House legend, Boss Hog legend. You know what I'm saying? PJ the Rap Hustler. What's going down, man? Oh man, cooling, cooling, blessing for sure, for yeah, sure, man. man. Cooling, sure, blessing man. to be here, man. Appreciate I, appreciate I appreciate you coming through to the island, man. man. Shit, I'm a street nigga. I'm still from. You call me, I'm coming, man. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure, Whatever you need, respect. I'm here, Papa. Yeah, so what was good, man? What's new with you, man? Man, just a lot of working, man. Oh, shit. Oh, I just made it off parole. Hmm, congratulations on that. Yeah, man. last month I got off parole successfully, completed that successfully. Uh, how long How long you was on, uh, you know, all that? I've been gone like a little bullshit, a little bullshit, 10 months. Hmm. I've been gone 10 months on a, I signed, what? I did a deuce, signed for a deuce. I did like 10 months on a deuce. Hmm. So, shit, I went to this little program and shit, some, uh, some, DWI shit mm-hmm. and went through that shit, knocked that shit out, came on in. But yeah, it's a blessing, man. I'm here, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. For sure. Well, man, tell me, uh, let's talk about that north side, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shit, what you want to know, man? Man, I mean, tell me everything, man. Tell me, you know, you know, uh, growing up, man, you came up where you was in, you was in the Acres Home section of it or where? Yeah, I'm from, Acres, I'm from Acres Home. You know what I'm saying? Uh, government project, you know, our project, we call, uh, Lincoln Park, 790. That's you know what I'm saying. A lot of people know Smackwater from over there. Yeah, that's my nigga. That's my that's my one of my. I know he he always homies. talking about 790. Yeah, yeah 790 okay, West yeah. New York. You know what I'm saying? What not? What not? No, you know, basically just shit. A lot of, you know, outside shit. But you know, I'm all around this bitch, man. I'm hmm. a street nigga, down there. I'm everywhere. Like you know, north, east, south, west. I'm a. Hey, can't miss me. I've I been out here, like right. moving around and shit, bumping shoulders with players and hustlers, and you know, getting to the bag, just getting some, trying to get some money, and staying free, trying to stay out of trouble, and just do the right thing, make the right choices, and you know, whatever come with it, make some good music, whatever, you mm-hmm. know, just basically, you know, I've been doing more, like uh, I've been on, they're doing some movie shit since I've been home. No oh, shit. Yeah, day to day, still clocking. We got that going. Mm-hmm. That shit hitting on the views, like it's doing real good, real well. You know. What's the way? So, what's some of the movies you've been you been messing with? That's what I. You say day to day and still day to day still clocking. Oh, uh, Mean City. Hmm. All this shit on YouTube. The views, you know. You ain't heard of about it? I mean, nah, that's why I want to check it yeah, out. Yeah, man. man. Mean City. Hmm. Mean City. Yeah, and then uh, day to day still clocking. We damn near what? I think Mean City like me and some views. No shit. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Day to day, still clocking like about three hundred. We just yeah, about three hundred, three hundred thousand views and some shit like that. There, hmm. you know what I'm saying. So it's just like you know. Then I we got studios on out there on the north. So I've been working in out the studios and shit, underground shit. Just you know, a lot of I'm an underground nigga, down there. So hmm. a lot of people, the streets know me, but it's like you know they never see me. So, That's why I wonder how young it is like shit. Yeah, you they know, never see me. I hear it now. You know, I mean, you know the name. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You can't sure. miss me, shit. I mean, you can't mention none of this shit about, you know, and not mention me. Mm. You know, from the Swisher Highs to the, the Boss Hog Outlaws. I mean, shit, man, everything I touched done pretty much turned to gold. Hmm. Been on radio one, not one, two, three times. I mean, shit, been in rotation. You know, it's like, I'm about, like with me, though, it's like I get a lot of, lot of like, kind of counted out. Because I believe like a lot, a lot of shit, I'm just like, I'm at the end of a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm left out. You know what I'm saying? Just like, I'm always like on radio and shit. Like when they play our shit, I'm like, 
always at the end of shit. They could, mm. like I'm on the last verse on a lot of shit, so it's like a lot of people don't really, you know, hear me till you know just if they play the song all the way out of some shit. Well, that, that like what twenty years? What how long it's been since we dropped Serving right. Collect and all that shit? It's been like twenty you years, know. huh? We getting close to it. We probably about, we close to it. Probably 18 and, uh, for sure. Yeah, 18, 18 19, 18 20 sure. years. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, shit, we put on for the city with that BHO shit. Like, that boss how our life shit did good. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, we 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 shook up the city with that shit. You know? When, when, you, was, when you was coming up, did you go to school with, like, Slim and all them, like, growing up? Like, how, when you was growing up, you know what I'm saying, on the north and shit? Like, how was it all going? Actually, I went to... Booker T. Washington, but then, you know, my, my mom, we moved from 790. We moved from Lincoln Park, and we moved to Gulf Bank. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's when I gravitated to Slim now. You mm. know what I'm saying? And uh, met, you know, really, like, went to fucking with them, with the Swisher House shit. But I was always rapping on, you know, doing my own thing, just peered on the microphone, just on some hood shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, karaoke machine shit, you know what I'm saying, selling tapes and shit like that out the, you know, at the school highs and shit. And uh, um, I had a partner, my partner Moan. My partner was like, nigga, Slim, them, Slim, Slim, Thug, them niggas over there at Ike. Nigga, you need to hook up with them niggas. So I'm like, you know, I hear Slim name ringing and shit already. You know, he he, he was ringing already with the with the Swisher High shit and um, hmm. whatnot. So it was like when my mama moved to Gulf Bank, uh, shit. That's when I, I zoned to Ike and started going to Ike. We stayed right across the street from Ike and shit, me and my mama, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the only child down there. I don't got no sisters, no brothers. So it's like, I'm a loner, you know what I'm saying? So, like, so what were you doing I'm coming up, like, middle school, you know what I'm saying, before you got to high school and shit? Was you in the sports and all that shit? Like, what type of shit? You, or you was in the streets? No, no, no. Music, music. Hmm. Streets too though, cause I was I, I was hustling, you know what I'm saying. I got a cousin, um, he he been gone like 20 years, 21 years now, on a 70 year sentence, you know. Man, my cousin ain't by the name, you know. By the way, Free Lamar Birch, that's my cousin. He been gone a minute. We trying to get him home and shit. It's a lot of fuck shit went on with his case and whatnot. But uh, we trying to get that back and get him free on the ground. So yeah, Lamar Birch, Free Lamar Birch. Uh, you know, he was real, real heavy, you know. On the, on the music blast, street blast, and everything too. So it's like he had this thing going dollar bill records. So it's like I was really like trying to. I believe like if he would have been home, I don't think that I probably would be. I, I mean, I would probably would have met Slim them and been doing my thing with 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 the Swiss House and everything and whatnot. But I know I probably would have been more gravitating to what we had going on with the dollar bill records and shit. You know, we had like he had groups, he had Pluto. Insane clan, you know what I'm saying? He had some shit going, mm. you know, the way he was moving on, you know, doing the music. So I know, you know, by that being my blood, I would have been rocking with him on that level, you know, right there. So it's like shit, you know, but but the way God works, you know what I'm saying? He left, so I was still doing music. And I when I hooked up with Slim, then, man, it's just like that shit showed me a whole nother side of shit. Because, mm. you know, I like... I gravitated to what they was doing, what they had going on, and I just like came in with them and just was really like learning shit, just learning. Was that the difference more so? But I knew the game about the music industry, but it's just like when I got with them, you know, it's like I formulated to they structure of what they was doing. You know what I'm saying? I didn't come in trying to run no shit or just trying to, you know, I've just gravitated to what they was doing, what they was operating on and how they was moving. So, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's how that went. They was, you know, doing their thing already too. So, you know what I'm saying? So that's how that came about. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay, wait, wait, wait. So so you get over there, how do you how do you even meet Slim? I met Slim at Ike. At Eisenhower. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. So who are you meet when you get over there? And what's the difference between being in, you know, seventy ninety and then you come over here? To this side, Gulf Bank and all that. What was the difference between them? Well, the north side, well, Acres Home, it's like, you know, you got, you know, Garden City. That's where J-Dog from, Lil Mario, whatnot. So, you know, we, but I, we was street nigga. We, you know, so I knew J-Dog. I knew Lil Mario. I just knew, you know, what them. But I didn't really just really link up with them until I got the Gulf Bank, you know what I'm saying? Like Garden City, like right up the street from Ike. You know what I'm saying? On Gulf Bank. So, you know what I'm saying? So, that's when I met Slim. You know what I'm saying? I met Slim 
at Ike, like going to Ike and shit, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, I think that's around the time the All Star was jumping. We had the, you know, selective songs mm -hmm. and shit right mm -hmm. there on Gulf Bank and shit. I'm talking about she was popping, you know what I'm saying? She was like, it was, she was moving fast. The streets was, you know, we was motherfuckers hustling, getting, you know what I'm saying, chasing money and shit, so like that, that. So the music thing kind of gravitated like that. that. But that's how I met Slim, though, them at Ike and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I clicked up with them at Ike and shit, man. I'm talking about like, that's how that gravitated with the Swisher High shit when I hooked up with the highs. So how, how did you get to Swisher House? Who's the, who the first person to bring you over there? Oh, shit. How did I get invited to the highs? I think uh, it was either Lil Mario. It was, I think it was Lil Yo. I think Lil Mario, you know what I'm saying, introduced me to like, you know, come to the Swisher Highs or whatever, gave me watch number. And I asked him, could I come through and get on some shit or whatnot, whatnot? Cause I'm hustling now. I'm hustling down there, like. Okay, now you now you on the block and shit. Now, now I'm like I'm I'm hustling. It's crazy okay. because I'm hustling at Booker T. And I'm hustling at at, at motherfucking night. You know what I'm saying? My, my mama don't know. My mama don't know what I'm doing or nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like I'm grinding. I had a truck. I had a, like a '97 Chevy, standard cab. I'm like, mm. you know what I'm saying? I had like. I was rolling the BMW too at Ike. I had a BMW. I was at Ike move, moving around with my cousin. Because I, like, I was fucking with my cousin. He had me going on some shit. We were doing our thing. So I'm like, shit, when I came to Ike, I had a you know a truck and shit. I'd come to school. You know what I'm saying? I think Lil Yo introduced me to come to the highs. And I'm like, shit, that's when I met Watts. That's how I met Michael Watts. You know what I'm saying? And um, I asked him, could I come fuck around? And could I come, you know, just, you know, see if I got some, you know, see if I, you know, do do my thing, but not he let me in. He said he gave me invited me to come one night and shit. And shit, I went in that motherfucking man, I'm talking about just I'm back then we smoke it wasn't all this shit that no, like this new way, no draw and shit. We smoking three Rich. for ten. Yeah. yeah, it was three for ten, switch the sweets, nigga rolling sweets and shit. I'm you know, that's how that went. I'm I come to the highs, I'm like shit, I think man, it's crazy to be the be exact, man. I think I remember I come to Watts highs, man. I I have my pistol on me and shit. Nah, mm. nah, 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 no, 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 no tripping. Goon just, shit, but yeah. I'm just, I got my strap with me in my truck. And my, I might be fresh off the block, man. I got my, I might got about four, five, nine ounces hard in my truck. I'm stashed my work coming in, you know what I'm saying? Come do my thing. And man, why is it, where it was over there? Why is it just, you know, put a beat on and shit, and man? Just shit. Nigga just took off. I still remember, man, like, I think the first one of the tapes I was on was either Northside 9, Final Chapter, one of the motherfuckers, but it was like a, uh, I think a mystical beat, or uh, 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 Destiny Child, or uh, 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 Snoop, I think uh, one of them motherfuckers, man, me and Slim on that motherfucker, and that's how it was, it was kind of like, it was kind of like kind of kind of how Screw was doing this thing, too, nigga would... Niggas wouldn't probably be in there all at one time. Like, why should get you when you come in and get you on some shit? Before I know it, I hit a tape, Slim on that motherfucker, Archie Lee or Lester Roy, and that's how he did his thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like, shit, you might not hit a, hit a finished product, product to, you know, just to the tape done. You know what I'm saying? And when the tape done, shit, you'll hear who all on that motherfucker and whatnot, whatnot. You know what I'm saying? And shit, it just, that shit. That shit took off, you know what I'm mm. saying? That shit like that shit was going. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was. That shit was, it was popping. You know what I'm saying? So they had, you know, I know they had the different crews in the Swisher House and shit. Yeah. What what crew were you? Was it already you, Slim, with J Dog? Y'all already like what was it? It was Slim, Pick, Tight. You know, I think it was AD, AD. You know what I'm saying? It's like mm. they was already in motion. So when I came over there, it was like shit. I'm just like I was like an alien. Hmm. So I'm just I'm just gravitating to the energy. You know what I'm saying? What not? I'm just you know what I'm saying? You know whatever I could get in there to get on get on the floor or something or get on get on the microphone. Shit, I was welcome to come. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes why's a cow man? Like man, you know you, you come by yourself. You all right? You know what I'm saying? Come by yourself. Don't bring too many. I'm like man, why? So I'm cool. You know hmm. what I'm saying? I you know I come you know respect how he had this shit going. And I come lay my shit. Were you I, serious about trying to be a rapper? Or it was just kind of a thing because you in the streets at the same time getting money. Were you in the, kind of was just like, yeah, hey, I mean, it's cool, just something. Yeah, like I, 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 it was more of like a hobby to me. But I, but I, I wanted to rap though, cause that was like really my thing. My thing down there was is like my older cousin. He was hustling, 
So my dream was to really, man, get him out the game. My dream was, man, if I get us one hit, you know, if I drop me a bad motherfucker, I can get my kinfolk up out this shit, man, get him up out these streets and, you know, we can get on this music shit, man. I always seen the vision of it because, like, like I say, around that time, you had Suave House, you had Rap A Lot. I think No Limit was just brewing, cash money was coming through. You know what I'm saying? Fifth Wall Boy, it was just, you know what I'm saying? It was just a lot of music going on. I was always a fan of shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, I would listen to everything. Screw, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never been no, oh, I'm an outside, I don't fuck with Screw shit. I'm like, I'm bumping the Screw tapes. You know mm. what I'm saying? I'm I'm leaving school, coming to the Screw shop, getting getting tapes from the Screw, you know, buying tapes and shit. No I'm shit. like, yeah, yeah. Nigga, I leave the school house, getting my truck. Or the Beamer, I get in the Beamer. Me and Moan, Willie, and rest in peace, Trey Lee, Lil Curtis, whatnot, them my homies, man. They, they, you know, they gone, rest in peace. But, uh, man, I would goddamn me, uh, leave the school high around 12 and shit, and just come to the south side and go get me a screw tape. You mm. know what I'm saying? Buy me a tape or something, leaning on the switch or something, whatever. You know, I liked on, you know, on the menu, on the wall, I would pick me something, give me a tape or two, and shit, I'd come back to the north. You know, come back. You know, come back to the uh, mm. come back to the school highs, and you know what I'm saying. I'm back at school. Just you know what I'm saying. Just shit. I'm yeah, I'm at Booker T then. That's when I'm at Booker T. But yeah, that's how I would do that. You know what I'm saying. But shit, like I said, I was I was uh on the karaoke machine too, real hard. I make my own little tapes, and it's crazy, man. I think about my hustle. It was I go to Walgreens, man, and buy the like, was it a hundred? A hundred motherfucking of them Maxwells, mm -hmm. and uh, I would go home, and uh, I give my mama hell on that motherfucker, man. I had like instrumentals. What I had, I had a Missy Elliott that motherfucking socket to me. I had that MC Light that motherfucking uh, uh, keep on, keep mm -hmm. keeping on. I wreck on that motherfucker, you know. Now I dubbed them hoes. I dub them hoes, man, and take them hoes to school. I be up all night. I burn them hoes, take them to school, man, and come to school with them hoes. I name them hoes some shit, choppers and boppers. Mm. You know, whatever I name them hoes, come to school. And uh, I sell the shit, sell them hoes out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I remember uh, Chocolate Town day. That when Chocolate Town was popping. I'm like 16, 17. And my cousin, uh, I forgot the nigga who was MJ. He, uh, he, 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 he had on... Uh, it's crazy. I'm going down through that with you, Donnie. Uh, he had Swisher. I mean, he had uh, he had Chocolate Town at the time, and uh, Foxy Brown and Lil Kim. They came to concert, hmm. and uh, I got that rap book. My cousin, I tell my cousin, I'm like, man, Foxy and them gonna be down and shit. They they finna they finna perform tonight and shit, man. I love to get up on that bitch and do my thing. You know, he hollered at MJ, the nigga who owned Chocolate Town, and uh, rest in peace, Marco Polo. It's history. Mm -hmm. Marco mm -hmm. Polo was a DJ mm -hmm. in Chocolate Town. And I'm like, man, I'm like, man, Ken Folk, you get me up in that bitch. I want to get on that hoe, man, and open up and do my thing. And my Ken Folk went and at MJ at the door that night. That bitch was jumping. I'm talking about lying. Like, like Chocolate Town, like this the door right here. The high, all, my, all my partners, y'all standing right there, the line hoes and shit in the line, waiting to get in, whatever, whatever. My cousin, he jump out the navigator. He go holler at all. He go holler at MJ like, and MJ, this is my little cousin, man. He, you know, he want to open up for, for for Fox and Lil' Kim. So MJ was like, nah, I ain't got no, ain't no opening. That, you know, MJ at the door, I think MJ is big old Iranian. He like, nah, 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 ain't no, ain't no, ain't no opening X. Ain't nothing easy, nah, nah, nah. So my cousin, like, you know, go in his pocket with a bankroll. He like, MJ, this is my cousin. I want, I want to see if he got it. I want to let him, let him do something. MJ seen the money. And MJ like shit. I think he, I think I think he gave my cousin. I think my cousin gave MJ like a hundred, two, three hundred dollars, right there at the door to let me do my thing. Hmm. So he give MJ the money. He tell me like shit, nigga. You know I got you in there. I'm, I want to see what you gonna do. So I got my tape. I got a uh, the same motherfucking instrumental. I never will forget it to this day. That MC light. And that motherfucking all uh, that locks. We always mm -hmm. love Big Papa. And uh man, I get that shit the motherfucking uh Marco Polo man. And they cut that shit on. Man, when I say down, I wrecked that bitch. Hmm. 
I wrecked that bitch. I still remember my flow. I think <laughs> some of it to this day. Like from the north to the south, I'ma spread some love. Pumping slugs, selling drugs. It's that acre song thug. The name is PJ for the ones that's lame. Blowing Mary Jane, hitting little yard, gripping grain. Blades just chopping, hoes just bopping. Watching for the devils, cause they plotting. Waiting on a nigga to slip. I don't like to sit trip, but us niggas from the north smoke dip. Mm. And low clips, and I'm talking about I set that bitch off like mm. the crowd. Like, who was this little nigga? He was kind of hard. He was how old at the time? I'm like 16, oh, 15, shit. 16. You know what I'm saying? Four Fox and them came out. I never will forget it. They come down, Foxy Brown and Lil Kim. I never will forget that bitch, man. I'm in that bitch. I did that shit there, rocked that bitch right there, and then from there, like this shit. I'm just still, I'm hustling, but I'm still. Fucking with the music on the karaoke machine. I'm just like I have. Mm. I just had dreams of fucking with that music. You know what I'm saying? I think I bump in the little key. I come on. I come on. I co I go to Sharp's Town and shit. I bump in the little key at Sharp's Town. I'm like, man, little key, man. I'm doing my thing. I get little key a tape and shit. But I nigga wasn't really like taking a nigga serious. Nigga like they little key was doing they thing. Mm -hmm. They were doing they thing. So. uh Niggas wasn't really taking nigga serious. Nigga brushing nigga off and shit. I wasn't tripping. I was just like, shit. They listen to it. They listen to it. They don't. They don't. I ain't tripping. But uh, yeah, like that. You know what I'm saying? To be a rapper was my dream. But that was the reason why I chose it. It was never just on no. I want to just be no 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 rapper. Just a goddamn me to flash a flow show or nothing like that. My mm. vision was to get my big cousin out the streets mm. because I knew that if we did this with this music shit. I could put my family on, get my family houses and put, you know, we doing something positive and I can clean this shit up because I seen where the game was going. It's like I seen the music industry where it was going. It's like that's when Southwest and shit was jumping and shit, whatnot, whatnot. And uh, my cousin, man, like right now, he, right now, you know what I'm saying? Friend, when he come home, you know what I'm saying? It's like shit still. I'm going to bless him with a classic when he come mm. home. I'm going to get in that bitch and cook up some shit, bless his game, and we got them try to, you know, get some money with that shit, whatever. Because I never lost a passion for it. I'm 43 years old, but right now, I'm like, at the end of the day, like, it's really like, I give it to the youngsters, you know what I'm saying? Like, right now, my little homie, 20 bands right there, he the future. I'm talking about niggas better watch out for him. Don Bands, he he, he next up the bat. You know, I see him coming. Like, I, that's my future right there. Mm -hmm. That little nigga right there, like that's my that's my future right there. You know what I'm saying? He got movies and shit going. He's rapping. He's no. It's just we grinding. We just working. You know? Cause like with the music, what I love about the music is you never know which way a blessing to come from with mm -hmm. this shit. You never know, and that's why I, I tell any young nigga if you got a dream, man, chase it. Don't 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 like feel like you ain't gonna make it or oh man, this shit ain't gonna happen or it's moving too slow for me, man. Ain't nobody seeing me, man. Cause you never know where that that one song or that one feature where to take you, where to do, what it'll do. And you know what I'm saying? That's why I want to say big ups to Slim. Because at the end of the day, man, that nigga there, I'm older than Slim. But at the end of the day, that nigga took that shit serious. And when I say he took it serious, it's like. I'm still high right now for how I fucking with that nigga there that I don't think I would ever even seen in a lifetime. Really, just not saying on my own, but it's like you never know which way God will bless you with this shit. Like, I done mm. seen some shit with this man to where I'm still high right now. And it's like I'm still chasing that high to get back to that pinnacle to do it the way we did it. You know what I'm saying? Because I seen some shit like, I mean, like, I was one of the niggas that was right there with him when he signed the deal with the Geffen and went through all that shit there with the for real shit and all that. So it's like, them people had us in places that I never thought I'd ever see in my life, man. My first time ever getting on a plane, nigga, I went to Puerto Rico. Hmm. My first time ever boarding a plane, I went to Puerto Rico, you know what I'm saying? And uh, this nigga take me to Emmy, we go to Emmy and shit, you know what I'm saying? The nigga put a roller on my wrist. Hmm. We get on the motherfucking plane. I'm scared of the motherfucker. I'm like, damn, I don't fuck with no planes. Like, he like, he laughing. Them nigga laughing at me and shit. You know, we get on the motherfucking plane, and uh, I'm playing with the with the with the motherfucking uh, the diamonds out the rolling <laughs> on in the plane. You know what I'm saying? The diamonds and shit. You know, fucking with the you know the the, the way the the the, mm -hmm. the 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 sun hitting the, hitting the diamonds on the plane and shit. I'm you know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit, okay. 
here it is. Here it go. You know what I'm saying? But every step of that wave, where that where where we went, where the where the label took that nigga, I was right there with that nigga. Everywhere we went, every time that nigga had a show somewhere, or whatever they had him doing, I was right there in the mix. You know what mm. I'm saying? Amsterdam, New York, Rap City, the basement, Tyra Banks show, Jimmy Kimmel show. You know what I'm saying? Spring bling. You know what I'm saying? Or oh. even even before that, let's slow down. Though, Come on with it. Come on with it. Talk about because you know we we talking about switch house. What was the decision to go from when it broke up to go boss hard? What was your decision to say? Okay, I'm gonna go over here with these guys. The way they went, it's like crazy because the story I'm telling is the same shit Slim done told you, and it's gonna all line up the the, the shit he told you. You know what his story? When he left, when he left Watts and started his own thing. Boss Hog Outlaws, and it's crazy because how hard working, you know, just your loyalty and your dedication to this shit, it'll put you in positions that where you'll never think it'll take you. Hmm. Or uh, when he left Swisher Highs, when he say, <laughs> however, Watts, you know, caught them in the in the thing with the with the with the shit, right. you know, and then you know. Yeah. Him and Raymond started their own thing on the bank, on Gulf Bank. And the first motherfucking CD, the Boss Hog Outlaw CD, when he said it was trash, the shit, the, the, you know, just we the, uh, what is, with, the, with the Deuce of Hazard intro mm -hmm, and shit, mm -hmm. I'm on that motherfucker. Hmm. Me, 50 Twin, J Dog, Slim, I want to say it's Paul Wall on there. I think Paul on that bitch. I think Paul on that motherfucker. But anyway, the first motherfucker. Uh, was it Raymond or Slim? They invite me to to the house, to to their house, to come to come spit some shit to get on 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 the CD, and I think I'm rapping on a DMX beat. You know mm. what I'm saying? I eat that motherfucker up. You know what I'm saying? I'm I eat that motherfucker up. But it's the time they on the CD, they burning CDs and doing their thing with that shit. So I'm like, I'm just learning. I'm watching the game. I'm just learning. I'm just I'm sitting. I'm watching this shit. I'm like, okay, this where the money is in the CDs. In the shows, because I know Slim doing shows with Watts. You know what I'm saying? Keep in mind, I'm not knowing nothing about the road really doing the shows yet because it's like my cousin now, my cousin, was my cousin gone now? Yeah, 9 7. My cousin got, he got convicted of, of, of the murder. Mm. So he gone now. So it's like, nah, I'm on the road with Slim now. I mean, while well, watching Slim them doing shows, they, you know, I know they doing shows and shit. Watch got them, you know, book getting them, getting them in little, you know, spots and they doing their thing with that show. That's when I see the show money. I mean, not the show money, but I see them doing shows and I'm knowing, okay, this how they, this, this how you get to the money with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Your shows and shit and your features and all that type of shit and whatever, whatever. So it's like shit. That's how they gravitated me going. You know, fucking with 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 Raymond and Slim on the Boss Hog shit, but see, I went I went fed I went to the feds at nineteen, Donnie. No shit. I went to the feds at nineteen. I caught up hustling. I got no, nah, not hustling. I got caught up on I ten with a uh, with a nine, I'm not with a forty five, and the serial number was scratched out the motherfucker. Mm. So you know, what I'm saying I convicted felon in possession of a firearm. He was already a felon. I was a convicted felon. I had caught a dope case in, at Booger T. Yeah, yeah, that's that. When rewind, I caught a dope case in uh, high school. I caught a, they caught me with like some rocks on me. They put me out, they expelled me from there. That's when my mom made, was making the transition to move to get me about the environment I was in. We moved to Gulf Bank, so I'm expelled now. I'm on Gulf Bank now. You know what I'm saying? No, no, I caught two cases at Booger T. They expelled me, I got out. And uh, I'm on probation or some shit. They let me back in, and I catch a pistol case at this motherfucker. I mm. catch two, yeah, man, my, my look, my motherfucker. Like, it's just, I catch a pistol case at that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Nigga steal my starter jacket. I come to school with the burner with it on my mind, but mm. they caught me with the gun. And they put me out again. And when they put me out that time, I come to Ike. I moved to Gulf Bank. That's when I come to Ike and whatnot, whatnot. And, uh... We headed to uh, Port Arthur for the 25 Lighters video shoot, DJ DMD. Hmm. Me, Slim, j Dog, my partner Big E. We on I-10, the law jammed us up in Anahuac. Me and j Dog. I took my mama car, snuck off of my mama shit. I took my mama car 
they ban us on I-10. I get caught up in that and whack on some shit. And, uh... I That's why they catch you with the pistol, with the serial number? Yeah, with the serial number and that and whack. We, we head to the DJ DMD, uh, 25 Lighters video shooting shit. I get out that shit. They... They, it took them like a year to give me a court date for that shit. You know what I'm saying? I go back out there, man. You know what I'm saying? All this shit is crazy. All the shit a nigga was in as a young nigga just doing wild shit. Just, you know, getting in trouble and fucking up. But, yeah, um, I'm out a year on that shit. Come back. The feds picked the case up. Hmm. They picked the case up. You know what I'm saying? So, now... Nah, my cousin, he out there, he out at this moment. It's like right around the time when he get banned. But I go in before my cousin get banned. I, I go I'm I'm I'll go to the feds before my cousin get get uh no 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 my cousin ain't gone yet because I get the the sentence and then he get locked up. Yeah, he get locked up, then I go fed. I go fed. Yeah, he get locked up in 97 and then I turn right back around and yeah and I go fed he tell me I think he say man go in there and get you something you can do don't play with them people whatever go get you something you can do or whatever whatever so now I'm learning the federal system that's how I learn about accepting your responsibility and I'll let them you know what I'm saying and you know to give me some time you know whatever whatever it ain't like the state you cop out and you know it's, it's a whole different system they give you points and all that shit there so I copped out for, well, not copped out, they give me 30 months. I signed my uh, my point system, whatever, they give me 30 months. And um, I'm going to Beaumont now. That's when I meet up with some, with the cats from, you know, some cats from the South Side. It's crazy because they all, Coach you know, been on your show. Mm. Uh, Big Dez out botany. Yeah, yeah. I'm down there with Big Dez. I'm down there with Duke. I'm down there with Knock. Mm. I'm down there with Keith Babbin. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Some most Southside players, I'm down there with them. You know what I'm saying? I do my let. You know I'm soaking up the game down there with them. It's all love though. It ain't no, you know, it ain't no bullshit. It's just we all down there repping H time down there. So you know what I'm saying? I meet them boys, meet meet them brothers down there. And that's how we, you know, I got a history with them down there. And I come home. When I come home, Slim gone. Hmm. He gone. He out the water. That's when the boss out. He done they whatever he going through with with uh with 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 whatever pissed him off with that shit. I am you know what I'm saying I'm I'm gone. I'm 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 locked up. So when I come home, all my ears on what's new on the streets. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Slim gone. He excursion. He doing his thing. He hmm. power balling. Yeah, he out of control. So uh, the boss out. I hear the boss in the halfway house. I got my earphones and shit. I'm in the halfway house right there, the Minimae Park, Crouch okay, Street yeah, from Cornell. Yeah. I'm in mm -hmm. there. I'm in there with Knock. Me and Lil Knock, it's crazy. All this shit history. I'm in there with Knock. We all in that motherfucker. What not? We we come we we coming home now. We coming home. So shit. I hear the boss and I hear the boss. I'm like, God damn, who done pissed this nigga off? You know, pissed him off. Whatever, whatever. He going off on this shit. I'm like, oh shit! That day I come home, you know, I'm, you know, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? So she, my old man died. My old man check out on me. I'm in Shaw's time getting fitted for a suit. Let me show you how I go at work. He don't make mistakes. I bump into Slim in Sharp's town. My little partner Dre. My little partner. I'm, now I'm home now. I'm 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 out now. I'm like I'm out. You know I'm I'm think I'm on supervised release with the feds. So I'm 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 in the streets now. I'm moving around and shit. I'm just trying to get my feet wet on. You know what I'm saying? So my little partner Dre, he like shit, nigga. That go Slim right there. I'm like, well, I'm looking. I'm looking. I see him. He in the mall. I see him. Mm. Thugger, thugger, Slim. Woo, woo, woo. I run him down. He say, like, what's up, baby? What's up? Where you been? Where you been? I say, nigga, I'm fresh home. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I'm out. I need to get on that mic. I need to do my thing. I need to, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? And uh, he like, shit, man. Get it, my brother. Get it, Ray. He give me Ray number. And man, when he give me Ray number, I hook up with Ray. They got the shop right there on uh, West Road. No, all Dean Bender. Exchanging sounds. And, uh, man, I remember I get up in that motherfucker, I'm with Ray. Hmm. I'm just working, underground shit, just rapping, just rapping, just, you know, just rapping. Raymond putting me on projects and shit, you know, he like, they still know who I am from the Swiss high shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm thinking, motherfucker, I don't even know who the fuck I am. I'm gone, you know what I'm saying? I've been gone, but, uh, 
He like, man, they still fucking with you now. I think mm-hmm. that's when MySpace and shit out now. MySpace and shit. That's when all that shit was out. Motherfuckers leaving comments and shit. He like, he put me on one motherfucking flow. I never forget it. I'm chinging. I'm rapping out chinging. Mm-hmm. I like the way they do that right mm-hmm. there. Some shit right there, some weird shit. I ain't even want to rap on that beat. But I just, <laughs> I did it just to show that, yeah. you know, I'm a motherfucker down. I don't get it twisted. On them tracks, I'm a motherfucker. Like, for writing and shit, I'm a motherfucker. I got a lot of shit on YouTube. You put me up, PJ the Rap Hustle. I got a lot of shit on YouTube, man. Motherfuckers ain't even heard. But, uh, yeah, he put me on that chingin', man. I think the song, I mean, I think the, uh, the CD was, uh, if it's changing, it's like right before the deal and all that shit. Then. Yeah, yeah. This this right 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 around the time when Slim get the before he get the deal. You know what I'm saying? Kaleon, that that's killer over there now. Killer, I mean killer, him and killer, they doing their thing. They, they done the hammer thing, they done all this shit. I'm 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 new over there fucking with Raymond now. I'm over there fucking with Ray. I'm just getting my feet wet over there with them. You know what I'm saying? With their operation, what they got going on. You know what I'm saying? Now, but I think that all uh, CD was uh, either platinum stars, ghetto stars, shining stars. That's the way it was. It was shining stars. It was a mix. It was underground shining stars. I'm on that motherfucker right there. That's with the chingy flow. And I mean, after that, man, I seen you know just with that flow shit, just with that's what was going on. And them niggas getting money with the CDs and shit. You know, they niggas, niggas got stoles and all kind of shit, man. Niggas getting money, Donna. Like niggas getting money. So it's like. I'm trying to get in. Like, mm. I'm going to give me some of this money with this shit. Like, that's how, you know what I'm saying? How I'm going to get in. And that's where PJ the Rap Hustler come from. Killer. Killer give me the name. Killer Calion. He give me the name. Man, PJ, PJ, you you and this bitch, you rapping, you, you going off on this shit. Woo, 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 woo. And then I'm a motherfucker. Just, Don, I'm a motherfucker. I'm a hustler. Like, hustling, I'm a motherfucker. You, anything I get my hands on, I'm going to sell it. I'm, I mean, I'm God give me the gift of hustling. But I... For selling candy as a young nigga, <laughs> it's all kind of shit, man. I was young, I used to sell candy shit, man. Nigga named Joe, man. He in San Antonio right now. He used to put us out there with, them, with, with the candy shit. We selling candy, so I always had a gift of hustling, knowing how to approach people and sell shit. You know what I'm saying? So I took that to hustle and put it with 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 selling the CDs and shit. Hmm. So when Watson them used to give me, give, well, not Watts, I take that back. I rewind. Run C. Run C was the only motherfucker over there at Swisher High that used to be like, I come to I come to Run C. I'm like, Run, I'm fucked up, man. I need to give me some money, man. What's going on? Why? Run, give me some tapes. Run, give me the tapes and shit. I go out there and bleed them hoes, bleed them hoes, sell my tapes and all that old type of shit, put some money in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? Was I grinding too then? I was grinding too, but I was just like, I was just, I was I always was trying to get up out the motherfucking streets, Donna. Hmm. I always trying to get out the streets, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and them young niggas, to the tell young niggas that listen, they'll watch the interviews, whatever, man. Find your hustle, man, and, and, and try to clean your shit up. If you're hustling, dope ain't the only way to get no money, man. That ain't the only way to get no money, man. You can sell some you can sell some dope, man. You can goddamn sell a car, man. You know what I'm saying? If you sell a motherfucking car, you can sell some clothes, man. Just find your way to clean that shit up, man, and get up out the streets, man, because it... The streets ain't promised, man. We all know where that shit lead to and all that shit there. So anybody that's just serious about life and living and staying out the way, staying focused, man, find you a hustle, man, and find you something to bleed and get the fuck up out that shit, man. And, and, and goddamn, you might think it's slow. It ain't moving high, moving fast as you want it to move, but it's gonna, it, it takes some time, man. And, and with longevity, man, the seeds you plant, gonna reap the harvest you you know what i'm saying hmm. the harvest you sow with all that go the plants how they go you're gonna reap what you sow with all that shit done plants you, the seeds you plant that's how we come with you know all that shit you know what i'm saying the seeds you plant that's what you get you know what i'm saying you know that's just that's just law of nature that's how shit go whatever you seeds you plant that's that's the plant that's gonna grow you plant watermelon seeds you're gonna get watermelon you plant you know what i'm saying Tomato seeds, you're gonna get tomatoes. That you know, it's just law of nature. That's just how shit goes. So the seeds you plant, that's what the shit you're gonna get up out the shit. You know, that's how this shit go. You in the streets, you're gonna get the seeds that come with the streets, man. That's what come with it. You know? Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm at with that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But talk about when uh was like when when you got the boss out, you know what I'm saying? It was right before you signed the deal. How did things change when y'all went from independent to now, you know what I'm saying, you signed a deal. Y'all doing the serving, collect, and all that. Like, talk about that whole time. Oh, man, shit. When, when, when the deal and shit hit, 
with that shit, you know what I'm saying? We had another studio of Bingo. I've been in the studio. Okay, yeah. yeah. The Hog Pen. That's when that shit jumped out. You know. Man. Nigga was just that's when that's when it got real. Like that that's down there when I was like I was trying to make the transition from leaving the streets alone and goddamn me focus on just straight rapping, you know, music, 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 because it's like I, I got me a plug, now I'm doing my thing in the streets, I'm rolling on my own, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm, I'm seeing street money, man, I'm seeing just, I'm, I'm I'm up now, I'm doing my own thing now because, you know what I'm saying, I, I gotta eat, don't it? So it's like, I got me a plug and I'm doing my thing on that end now, so it's like, shit, we working on these serving collects, man. Now you got, we got C. Ward, we got Killer Collier, we got J. Dow, Young How he. He hungry, you know what I'm saying? He doing his thing. Young how he mashing, he eating the motherfucking mic up. Young Black, Rob Smalls, you know, we fucking with goddamn me, uh, Mike Frost on the artwork and mm. shit. Now it's like we interview, we murder dog, you know what I'm saying? I get dold again on some motherfucking me, uh, Vayne Arrest and the motor vehicle and shit. So no I get, shit. Yeah, I get dold again, Don. I'm fucking around, I get dold again. I gotta go sit down and go do eight months, stay jail. Hmm. I gotta go sit down and do stay months. I mean, eight months stay jail. So now they didn't charge you with a felony for that. It wasn't a felony at the time. Yeah, evading the rest of the motor vehicle. The it was, a felony. Yeah, 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 I was in the yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, oh, uh, I do that shit there. Uh, uh, motherfucking me. Uh, I go do eight months stay jail now. Now keep in mind, let me show you how. What I'm saying, you fucking with the streets, and you know you trying to weigh the shit out how. How how just 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 fucking around it can you can miss your blessings quick as you as 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 you as you as you as you, as you, as you get your blessing. Okay, now nah, crazy shit, Donnie man. Oh, uh, we shoot the motherfucking recognize a player right mm. here off for uh, uh downtown, like on the bridge and shit. You know we do the pulling out clean all that shit. We shoot the recognize a player. I gotta go sit down, Donnie. Now keep in mind. Man, I'm on 979 a box, man. I'm I'm talking about I'm booming, man. Video on on motherfucking street flavor, every motherfucking thing. Man, I'm sitting in motherfucking state jail looking crazy than a motherfucker, man. I'm in I'm never with I'm in Pam Lynchner. They move me to Pam Lynchner, then they move me to Top Street. I'm in Pam Lynchner, man. I'm sitting in that bitch in white, man. I'm in that bitch watching street flavor, man. The video come on. Hmm. I'm in that bitch looking at myself, man. Now everybody in the tank looking at me like me. I'm like, man, I'm not, not, I'm talking about this, this, this just for this just for any nigga in the game that's just 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 hustling. Cause they need to hear this shit. They need to hear this shit. I'm feeling like a goddamn fool, Donnie. I ain't bullshitting, I ain't lying. I'm like, man, I need to kick myself in the motherfucking ass, man. You know what I'm saying? This shit popping, man. And I got to sit down here like a goddamn fool because I'm like wild. And not wild, I mean, you know, Vayne the rest, motor vehicle, whatever, whatever. I had to throw the burn out the car, some more shit, whatever, whatever. But I'm like, man, sit your motherfucking ass down, man. This dumb ass shit, nigga, nigga. You on a motherfucking TV, nigga. You supposed to be out there motherfucking me getting you some goddamn show money, man. You know what I'm saying? Now you sitting in this bitch, your buzz and everything, nigga. Your team out there. And you sitting in this bitch looking crazy. Hmm. So that was a wake up. I'm like, I'm like, damn, this shit crazy. So I'm like sitting down there. I do that little shit. I come home now. Now when I come home now, it's like, it's like, now I'm like, I'm like, damn, PJ, like you gotta, you gotta do something, you know, cause, you know, you know how this shit go down there, man. You, you doing shit, what not, man. That make a motherfucker really like, not give up on you, but like motherfucker be like, nah, man, okay, now what you gonna do now? Hmm. A nigga ain't gonna keep fucking with you when you you know you steady just doing the same shit. Yeah, yeah, you gon' you doing the same shit now. So I'm like, okay, I come home now. Now I'm like, God damn, man. I'm like, okay, I think recognize a player now. It's still like it's it's kind of playing on the radio and shit, whatever, whatever, whatever. But it's like now I'm fit. I'm feeling like I done missed my blessing. Cause I'm like, I ain't getting booked for no shows. Ain't nobody finna. You know, I'm like, now nah, I'm back home now. You know what I'm saying? You know. I get a phone call, man. Real nigga call me, man. Trade the truth. Hmm. I don't know how the fuck he got my number or what the fuck, whatever, whatever, whatever. But it's 
That nigga called my motherfucking phone. Nigga like, man, what's up? What's up? What's up with you, man? What's up? Oh, what's up? I'm like, who is this? The nigga say this Trey. I'm like, Trey. The nigga say the truth, nigga. I'm like, oh, okay. What's up? Ooh, shout out to Trey, man. Shout out to Trey, the truth. Shout out to Jay Tun, Lil Boss, one of my partners. You know, whatever, whatever, whatever. And I'm um, like, man, you good? You good? You need anything? You need anything? I'm like, nah, nah, nah. I'm good, nigga. I'm, I'm, I'm straight. My team got me. You know, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm my pride in a way and shit. I'm like, yeah, man, I'm good. I'm good. I, we can do some music, though. You know, we good. We good. He like, nigga, you need anything? Call me. That's another stand-up nigga. Good nigga. I can say if I call a nigga for anything, if I needed him for something, he kept his word. I hit him on some music shit, man. Man, I shot the man the song. He shot the verse right back. He laid the shit. We got us on YouTube. All this shit. Homies on lock. We got a track called Homies on Lock, me and him. You know what I'm saying? He done the verse for me, shot it back to me and shit, whatnot, whatnot. And uh, some old history. Some old history. R.I.P. to the pimp. The day I come home. The day. <laughs> shit crazy. The day I come home, Danny. The day I come home, I get released. We burying the pimp. Hmm. We burying the pimp. We go to breakfast club and shit, and uh, we eat and shit. They come give me Slim, right now. They pull up. They come give me from Top Street. They got my car and shit, painted. That's when Texas Wine Wheel giving us the swingers, all this shit. I bought my car. They give me some swingers, put my car up. I mean, they got my car painted, all this shit. We going to bury the pimp, man. We going to bury the pimp, man. All right, Pete, to the pimp. We going to bury the pimp. And uh, we we shoot the port off we eat at breakfast club. We hit the highway, we go to Port Arthur, man. Mama see y'all, you know what I'm saying? We go down to Port Arthur, we go put pimp in the ground and shit and whatnot, whatnot. And I'm just like, God damn. I'm like, okay. You know, what you gonna do now, P? What you gonna do now? So now we back to working. We back to working. We back to working. We back to working. Oh, uh, J Dog gonna fire now. Ride on foes. You know what I'm saying? J Dog got the streets now. J Dog got the street. Ride on four. I'm like, so I'm like, ah, damn, this shit, you know, it's going down. You know what I'm saying? We got, I'm talking about man, serving, collect, drop, man. We got the motherfucking city. Mm. CDs off the shelf, man. CDs gone. Like, everywhere, Best Buy, all this shit, mom and pop stole, man. You can't find a motherfucker nowhere. The shit gone. You know what I'm saying? Back working, get back to working, you know what I'm saying? Back to working, back to working, back to working. I think from that come, now we on serve and collect too. That's when the keep it player and shit come around. We got to keep it player with Ray J. We got ride with no ceiling, you know, all that shit. Shout out to B Dunn and Gavin, they produce a lot of shit on there. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, Mr. Lee, you know what I'm saying? We work with Lee. And um, I mean, like, it's like, like, Everything was just like, like, it's like, it was like a blur, man. I'm like, mm. this shit was like a blur, man. We was like, boys in blue working on a lot of, you know, working on that shit. We on the road, you know what I'm saying? Just doing shows everywhere. New York, we everywhere, man. I'm talking about like, it's like, I've been all over the United States, man. Hawaii, fucking with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Just moving around, man. Fucking with this nigga, man. What fucking with Slim. Like, it's like, and it's like. Like I say, man, that shit like a high, and a nigga still on that shit, because like a nigga still got memories of that shit, and it's like a nigga, like right now I'm really feeling like I don't even want to fuck with this shit no more, like if I can't do it on that pinnacle again, mm. but like, I'm like, will I ever see that high again? Who won't, Who knows? You know what I'm saying? That's why I say I focus on the future. I focus on, I focus on the young niggas, because I, I, like, I know what they can see fucking with this shit, but like, it's like, I give it to them all day long. Like, it's so much shit that this music could do for you, man. You never know, man. You never know which way a blessing to come from with this shit. And that's why I give big ups to Slim because he was the nigga on our side that really had that vision that he took that shit serious. Hmm. He wasn't trying to invest in no dope and trying to play the streets and play the music. That nigga stayed straight focused on the music. And it popped for him. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, a nigga came knocking. He mm. did it. You know what I'm saying? From just a linking the north with the south, bringing that shit back together, him and E and shit is like big deal, big big, move. big shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm like, you know, cause like we didn't have no platform on the north. Nigga was shitting on us, man. Y'all was shitting on us down there, like the south was shitting <laughs> on us, bro. Yeah. Like we didn't have nothing on our side. 
You know, so that switch of high shit and all that shit is like that music shit. And that nigga took that shit serious, bro. And it's like, right now, man, I was like, it's like, it's like, that's the homie to me. I take my head off to him. Because it's mm. like, I mean, like, he took that shit serious, bro. And it's like, do we get a lot of props that he's supposed to get? I don't think he really get a lot of props that he's supposed to get. But he did his motherfucking thing. And that's why when I see him shitting on niggas, I'm not shitting on niggas, but just he showing his ass. It's like, I'm like, he deserve it. He deserve it because a nigga work hard than a motherfucker and then he he, he he reaping the fruits of his labor. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I mean, like, a nigga done seen some shit with that nigga the way it's like, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? He showed a nigga that, nigga, this what you can have. You can do this shit if you stay focused and stay positive, keep your name out bullshit and, 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 and catch you a lane and, and, and hustle. And what not, what not, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, man, niggas ain't just giving niggas shit. Niggas ain't put putting niggas on and all that shit. I mean, you got some niggas that, are, you know, I'll take the time to fuck with you, but I'm just like, I'm just, ain't nobody got no money to just really be fucking with you if you ain't just really, you know, just taking shit serious mm -hmm. on, on that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know what I'm saying, like, that nigga made himself a boss. Like he said, he made himself a boss, man. So I'm like, and that's what this shit about. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas be, man, put a nigga on, put a nigga on. And then at the end of the day, it's like, man, you really got to do this shit yourself. You got to go through the process of the grind and prove yourself to where a motherfucker can't deny you. And when you, like Jigger say, man, you playing with skills, good luck will happen, man. It's just how I look at shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Hands down, whole show the world. Like, nigga, like, he another nigga. You know what I'm saying? He went to his little dibbling dabbing with his hustling and shit, and he lost Emory and all that type of shit. I just sit back and listen to nigga stories. Mm -hmm. And when you see, when they take what they doing serious and focus on what this music shit, bro, <laughs> you never know which way a blessing to come from, man. You know, shout out to Prince, Jay Prince, man, rap a lot. That nigga show you when you focus on this music shit, bro. Like, you never know where that music shit will take you. So it's like, like I say, I'm 43 and I never give up on the game, man. Like, far mm. as the streets right now, I got a sharp eye on the streets. I watch the streets. I know who doing their thing, who, where the future going, who, who the culture of it, who handling their business in the H. I'm just watch. I'm, I'm a fan of this shit. I, like, right, right now, I still... Uh, go to the Toyota Center and pay my money to go see a show. Mm. You know, nigga come to the city, I go watch niggas. When they come, you know, I pay my money and go in that motherfucker and sit in that bitch. I'm still a fan of this shit. You know, Drake's and whoever come through this bitch. You know, Future, whoever, man, niggas that come through this bitch, if they got some shit going, you know, I'm going to pop out. If, if I fuck with they shit, I'm still a fan. You know what I'm saying? Because I just love music and I got a ear for this shit. And that's why a lot of niggas... They sleep on me down there, like, but at the end of the day, a lot of shit at Boss Hog, bro, that's, I, I was a nigga, I was, I, I got a sharp ear, I'll bring a beat to Ray, I'll be like, Ray, man, this, uh, put me on this motherfucker here, like, Rob with no ceiling, j Dog ain't even want the beat, hmm. Jay Dog, I brought the beat, I said, Jay, man, what's up, you think, man, he on the hook. Yeah, got me, yeah, got me feeling yeah, brilliant. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, be done and gab and produce more. I'm like, mm -hmm. Jay, bitch, what you gonna do with this? You want this? Here? He like, man, Jay didn't even like the motherfucker. He like, Jay, man, like, man, I ain't really feeling that shit. I said, what? <laughs> I said, nigga, this a hit. You know what I'm saying? He ain't take it serious. I took that bitch to Ray. I'm like, Ray, man, come on, load this bitch up. As matter of fact, I wrote, I thought I write verse to this bitch in the county jail. <laughs> I come home. I go to B and Gab. I'm lying. You can get them on the phone, call them, whatever. I say, B, man, where that B that? And B can say, what B, PJ? You know, we got all kind of shit. What, man, you been gone? You been gone? What's happening? I say, man, that B with J Dog on there. God, man, got me feeling breezy. Oh, okay. Nigga went in the computer to pull that bitch up when I heard it. I say, B, put that bitch on the CD. I'm Gab. I'm Gab. Man, put that bitch on the CD. I need that. <laughs> nigga load that bitch up. I ran to the hall pen, took that hold of Raymond. Hmm. Raymond load that bitch up. I think I'm the first nigga wrapped on that beat, man. <laughs> I ain't yeah. boys. In. This like this all facts, man. <laughs> nigga get them on the phone, call them. They'll tell you. Just slim. I'm mean, call Ray, call <laughs> nigga, call nigga. They'll tell you. Raymond pulled that bitch up. I wrapped on that beat. I think I spit a twelve on it. The my verse on there, it was longer than that. You know what I'm saying? Raymond cut it. And put everybody on that motherfucker. He put Slim them, put Slim, Killer, J Dog, Young Black, uh, C Ward, 
You on top of the world like Tony. Mm-hmm. How many yeah. kid good yeah. fam good? I'm the last one on now. You know it's PJ time to wreck up in your deck yeah. again. Yeah. My yeah. paint yeah. dripping, foes poking like a Mexican. Yeah, my yeah. diamond shining, boppers mining, cause I'm having changed. The rap hustler by this paper, you can keep the fame. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not Lil Wayne, but I'm in love with yeah. cash money. Yeah. I call my own shots, nigga. Use a crash yeah. dummy. Yeah. I see them haters scoping. What you wanna do, player? Step your game up and you can shine too. Mm-hmm. Play, I'm like, I'm going to clean up some shit, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of our hits, I'm like last on them. Like I said, like when they played them on the box, I have my phone to go to jumping. Bitch, bitch, you on the radio, <laughs> bitch, you on the radio. I'm like, oh, man, they ain't going to play my shit. I be, you know, if I be in the hood or something, nigga, I be like, man, they ain't going to play my shit. And they had on them or whoever, they'll cut my shit off. A lot of times, sometimes they'll play it and whatnot. But I think I really get, I got my, my, my buzz off goddamn me. Recognize a player mm. and that bitch with Ray J. Mm. That's the only motherfucker they would just play the whole motherfucker out. Mm-hmm. And 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 down in between me and you, that motherfucking keep it player, that's when I really knew I couldn't be fucked with. That's when I knew I was a live nigga. Mm. Cause it's like like we rap about so much shit, Donnie. We rap, you know, we rap gangster shit, we rap about coming down, swaying all this. But when you can rap for them, for them, I ain't gonna call them hoes and bitches. I'm mean, mm-hmm. when you can rap for the ladies, and you can goddamn man, you can you can you, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You, know, like, you, you know what I'm saying? I get up down because that music when I think when I talk about it, it give me that high, give yeah. me that rush. <laughs> but when you can rap for them women, man, and and, and they and, and they can feel it. And when I'm talking about Gabriel Union and straight movies, so when I went when I got jig on that motherfucking first there. I'm talking about, I say, okay, yeah, hmm. I really can do, I really do this shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about pussy Ray went out, <laughs> <laughs> pussy Ray went out the roof, Donnie. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I'm a foe, I'm like, you, woof, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you can't tell me shit, nah, nah. I'm like, okay, yeah. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I, I give myself how I'm talking about this shit because it's like, when it come to this, this shit, it's like, I really feel like I get slip on a lot like you know I'm like niggas don't really take me serious like I'm like nigga how you nigga mention any motherfucking thing with this shit like for an outside uh, swisher highs or boss hog and you know I just sit back I watch shit I watch and listen to niggas man I sit back watch interviews I you know I sit back watch YouTube like a lot of time I be on YouTube all night watching shit I'm like man how you nigga leave me at hmm. you know like man how the fuck you miss me nigga I'm that nigga you know what I'm saying? Like hands down. You know, I'm I'm that nigga. I'm nice. You know what I'm saying? I and I, I can say that to myself. I'm a nice nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you, you nigga fuck with me. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not, not, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of shit though. But I'm I'm a nice nigga, Donnie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like everything I done touched done, you know, turned to gold. You know what I'm saying? Recognize a player, that was a good one. Like, you know, Killer. Killer was on like with the hook. You know, when that motherfucker there. Mm-hmm. He like PJ bitch going there. That's some motherfucker I fuck with too. I like Killer. Killer gonna rap his ass off. That you can't take nothing from him. You know what I'm saying? He love to do music. That's that's his shit. That's his lane. You know what I'm saying? He love to fuck with that music shit. And like we put that shit together and he bitch get in the booth over. Mm. To pull it out clean, y'all already know. So he get in there, he drill me on that shit. That I get in that bitch and spit that shit. And see, a lot of motherfuckers don't don't really know a lot about music. It's like music is euphonious, man. It's it's it's, it's a ear for shit. Like we can have a track or Donnie, you could put a track on for us, right? I might don't be the ingredient to that beat, but I might say twenty, go in there and say this to that beat. Mm-hmm. His voice might gravitate to that motherfucking beat. Better than my, better than my, better than my voice or something. That's why you got ghostwriters and shit. A lot of shit niggas don't be know he wrote that or he wrote that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, gotta do their homework with this shit. A lot of niggas don't even know what the fuck be going on. You know what I'm saying about this music shit, man? But I'm like, I got a ear for shit, Donnie. You could put some shit on, and I, and it's like me. He'll tell my, and I'm glad I got somebody in the building that can vouch for me. He the only little motherfucker that I, that can keep up with me, like for us. Like I'm just saying, like. Working, I can get on some shit. He can come right behind me. He gonna clean it up. Hmm. The twenty band. He gonna clean it up. He gonna get on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You get on YouTube. We got underground hustling. Some shit we dropped. Some shit, you know, some underground shit we dropped. You know what I'm saying? What not? What not? And this little young nigga is like, I love him. He, he consistent. He he gonna get on that bitch. He gonna talk his shit. What not? What not? What not? But it's like shit. You know what I'm saying? Music is euphonious, man. It's like. 
certain people go on certain shit and certain shit work with certain shit. You know, that's why I used to like with that you see like Moa be on some shit, man, and Moa go to blowing on that bitch, man, and then, you know what I'm saying, you got Pokey gonna come on that bitch, and they gonna do their thing on that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, and it was the same shit when we were doing the Boss Hog shit, you know what I'm saying, like, our chemistry was just so, to hear C. Ward come on that motherfucker, man, I heard that nigga say, man, watch this here, Donnie. When I heard Wode say, Open your eyes and recognize a player when you see one. Instead of always hating on one, try to be, be one. one. Yeah. Cool chick. Class say, man, what the fuck this nigga just... <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, man, this nigga woe the mother... Then woe the boulder talking this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it was gumbo with us. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, you know, and that's how we were when we were doing it over there with our chemistry. I don't know how other, other nigga chemistry was. But that's how we was. When Raymond put us on that beat, I might not even be in there tonight see Ward lay his shit. I might not even be in there when Thugger come in there and do his shit. That's how Thugger was. Thugger gonna come in that bitch and he feel like he gonna put his shit on now. Jay gonna come in there and put his part on now. Killer gonna come in there and put his part on now. But when we hear each other's shit, it was like it was like we was the dream team at that time in the city. Because we had the north, we had the south. We just we was all in that bitch cooking that shit up. And it's like Killer gonna come with his shit. Killer mm. gonna come with his shit. You know what I'm saying? Raw smiles on the R&B. He blowing on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that certain collect, man, all that shit, both of them motherfuckers, all that shit, them, them, them was classical projects. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't too, you, if you go back and listen to that shit, we did, that, them, that shit was classical. The errors from front to back, the way we engineered that shit, and I'm talking about niggas, you know, uh, Put the songs in, in goddamn sequence and whatnot, whatnot. That shit was that shit was classical shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it, I, right now, I don't know what how many numbers that shit did or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I just know it went. I know hmm. I know it was gone. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And just to have a part of that shit and whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That was like you know what I'm saying. That was a blessing. You yeah. know, alone. You know what I'm saying? Working on Slim shit with him. I mean, just on his shit. I already planned them. I got a taste of that shit. I'm on that motherfucker. Boys in blue. We on that motherfucker. Just mm -hmm. to be a part of shit and just to, you know, I'm a nice nigga, man. You can't can't count me out. Shit. You mention this shit, but put PJ in there. Hmm. You know, mention my name. You hmm. know what I'm saying? You know, I never know. I might go out on the wild with, you know what I'm saying, with the greats. You know what I'm saying? You never know. But don't count a motherfucker out. Right? You know what I'm saying? That's just why I'm at with it, Donna. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, well, man, you got anything, uh, man, before we close out, man? Ah, oh, man, nah, man, just shit, all. Uh, and I'm going to have to have you come back, too, for real, you know what I'm saying? Man, Donna, whenever, yeah. like, whatever. You want to sit down and chop up some, some shit? Like, yeah. I mean, I'm here, man, just, oh, uh, anything else, like, shit, not really, just, you know, stay tuned. You want to fuck with me, shit, get it done. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nigga looking for me. Get it done. It. You know what I'm saying? See, you want to fuck with Rob Ross to get at me. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, 20 bands. We got day to day still clocking. You know what I'm saying? Just a lot of shout out to my niggas, man. 790 MG. We got 790 records. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas shit. You need to get up here, Donnie. Like, it's just a lot of shit we got going on all in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Clog Boys Records. My partner, Faux Trey. Shout out to Faux Trey. Just a lot of shit we got going on. You know, shout out to Fast Lane, them. Them boys moving. Yeah, that's yeah. the nigga right now. I talk, I spot winners. Yeah. Fast lane right now, nigga yeah, ain't fast fucking lane with me. Yeah, man, niggas ain't thing. fucking. I'm in the clubs too. I just left uh, Mr. A last night. Mm -hmm. I'm in the clubs, man. I'm, I'm out here, so I'm here. I'm yeah. Fast lane right now, ain't nobody fucking with it. You know, that's my little homie. I fucks with him. Ain't nobody. Little Jeremy, Gas Game, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Jeremy, yeah. I, yeah, man. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I know how to spot winners. I mean, I just shit. I hear what what the streets on what they on. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit on. Don't don't knock the south side. I ain't knocking nobody. But I'm just saying, I be watching street flavor. It's a lot of young talent out here. You know what I'm saying? And, and like like you say, do I want to say anything before I go, man? Telling all the young niggas, man, stay focused on what you're doing, man. Hmm. You know, stay focused on what you're doing, man. I know you got, you know, what I'm saying somebody, you know, probably has some some more shit going. But yeah, that's it for me, man. Like you yeah. know, I'm signing out on that note right there, Don. I appreciate you having me. All right, I appreciate you coming through, man. Hey, yeah, man. man. Donnie used to podcast, you know what I'm saying? PJ the Rap Hustler. Hey, man, we're up out of here. Mm -hmm. Donnie used to.
subscribe to the Danny Houston podcast, man.